Hi guys, my name is Raven and you're watching Pretty Raid. Damn, my shit is skip through the night night. student while having a work from home job and before you even ask yes the work from home job was a military work from home job and we're going to get more into that later in the video so first I'm going to start with the well we're just going to go ahead and jump into the pros and cons of having a work from home job while being a full-time college student as you all know um, when you're a full-time college student you have 12 plus hours so I was taking four classes and I was working from eight to five. How did I do that? I um, actually talked with my supervisor and they understood that I was a college student and they worked with my schedule. So I only had two classes in person from 9.30 to 12 and the rest of that time I worked afterwards. So I would work from 12 to maybe like five o'clock. And the thing about this job, it wasn't in Mississippi. So I go to school here in Mississippi, but my work from home job was in Colorado. I was working with Buckley Space Force Base. Um, and yeah, I was working early shifts. I was working a long shift, so I was working like eight to five, eight to six sometimes. And it was kind of a struggle depending on when I had classes and when I had things to do. But other than that, I handled it very well. I was on orders for maybe six months. I started right after I graduated ALS, which is Airman Leadership School, and I went straight into my orders. So I was on maybe July, the end of July, maybe like July 20 something, July 21st, I think, all the way until December 23rd. So I was on those orders for a long time, and while you're on orders, you do get paid as an active duty student, I mean, as an active duty um, personnel, so you get paid twice a week, and I was getting base pay and BAH. So, I was very blessed to um, take on that opportunity, and I fulfilled my duty to the best of my ability while um, graduating, not graduating, but going through that semester. So, I, um, it was my senior year, senior year, my fall semester, my senior year, and I was taking two in-person classes and two online classes for my major courses and i finished all of my courses with um a 3.5 gpa so i think i did really really good but towards the end of my orders around like november december um my quota started going up and when i say going up it was like i had to produce maybe like 50 tickets a day and i was producing those 50 tickets but i wasn't producing as well as i should have in my um my classes I handled them but they weren't where I wanted to be so um, that was another reason why that would be a con is trying to balance school and due dates with actual due dates for your quota and being at work doing your job on time and mind you we had meetings um, through zoom through teams and we also had like trainings I had to learn different things so it was a whole it was a piece of work, but it was worth it, and I did it, and I handled it as well as school. So, if I can do it, I know anybody, you all can do it too. So, um, yeah. So, that's my whole spiel of me working from home with the military while being a college student. Also, the other struggle was, since it's my senior year, I was also applying for grad schools. And I'm still in the process of applying for grad schools now, but it was kind of hectic with completing tickets um coursework application deadlines letters of recommendation my gre like all of that compiled into six months but like i said it's worth it it was worth it and i did enjoy the time i met a lot of great people i switched um i switched units well not units but i switched um sections maybe twice while I was um, on these orders. And these are also ADOS active duty orders, RPA orders. So how did I find out about this work from home position? So I found out about this work from home position from one of my good friends um, that I worked with back at Little Rock. Her name is Mia and she told me about the position and she was like, just go ahead and apply 
even though I'm about to graduate, graduate um, ALS because I was in ALS at the time and I just went ahead and applied and I got an email saying to send over my resume, my military resume as well as my civilian resume, my EPR and I think it was my PT um, requirement, like my old PT test. So I sent all of that information in and maybe more documents and I got a call, an email back saying that I had got the position and that I was going to start immediately after I graduated and I did like I took my three days of leave from when I went to um, ALS and I started that position like three days later after I graduated so after that we went into training and I had to actually travel to Buckley for the training so I got on the plane I think a week and a half later after I started I got on the plane and I did my training I got my um certifications and all of the the systems that I needed for the job and that took a very very long time so like maybe a month of that whole that whole time really passed by because I didn't have my access but once I got my access I started rolling instantly so I started in reserve separations and then maybe a couple months later like in the middle of me being on these orders I moved over to guard separations. So I worked with reservists and I worked with the guard as well. And that was a great experience. Also, this job was not an administrative job. I'm a 3F5 in the Air Force. This job was listed as a personnelist that um, a personnel needed to be in the job, which is a 3FO. And I still applied for the position, so I had to learn a couple things. Um, about personnel which I did not know even though we're closely um, knit like we work in the same office because I'm CSS commander support staff I never really knew their role or what they did I was always administration so to get that experience with personnel that was a very good um it was something that I was um, interested in and I learned a lot of new things so that was um, another thing I learned guard I learned about the guard. I also learned personnel role, and I also worked with reserve as well. I met a lot of um, great people, also. So yeah. Next, we're gonna talk about my training. Um, so with the training, I did go to Buckley Space Force Base in Colorado, and I stayed there for a week. And I didn't go alone. It was me and my boyfriend that actually went, and I would go in to work on the base, maybe. I went every single day, actually, and we stayed from 8 to what, 8 to 3, 8 to 4.30, and I would enjoy the rest of my day because it was my first time going to Colorado, so I did explore, but I also got my training, and I, you know, worked and got my continuity binder, or I went through their continuity um, folder and their files, and I learned my position. So that is basically my experience while working on... Um, active duty orders while being a full-time college student i recommend that everyone well it's not it's not every day that these opportunities come by and i'm glad that i was able to actually participate in this opportunity i was able to partake in this opportunity and yeah so if you have any more questions guys just comment down below and i will answer them i'm sure I missed a couple things, but if I did and you have a question, just comment down below and I got y'all. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Damn, I